Hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today which is on the Hogwarts Clock Tower set. So on the front of the box you see LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, that board that we've seen for a good little while, and picture of the whole set there, and Wizarding World logo, all the mini things included, and also recommend ages 9 and up, set number 75948 has 922 pieces. Oops. And flip the back, see it, um, see the back view of it, and the couple features, and ultimate pop, and different pictures of it, and yeah. And on to the manual. Oh, it is on the same pictures on the front and of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey, and then all the pieces that come with the set, which is three pages, of course, and how it connects with the other Hogwarts set. And then after some other sets, of course, out of her Lego life, and the last set. And first of which is Harry Potter himself. And this of which is his outfit for when he's at the Yule Ball in this film, Goblet of Fire. Uh, but the face print I think is exclusive to this set. Oh, whoops. And, and of course he's using the mid legs suiting to his appearance in this one. He has some alright back torso printing. And a, a different double side face, of course. And of course, this hair piece, which is the same as from the like Hungarian Horntail Drag set. And next to which is Ron Weasley, also exclusive to this set. And, and this time around, it has the regular minifig legs for whatever reason. And also, his Euler Ren outfit, which looks good. and different face print than most other sets, and hair piece also the same, and back portion print also good, and also you get his double side face, of course. And next to which is exclusive variant of Hermione Granger, of which same, uh, or I mean the face print of which might be unique to this, but the torso print, and also interesting is use of the one by two brick suited to her Gulleran dress because this is the outfit in this scene. And that was the same one, of course, and the hair piece, which I believe is exclusive to this fake one. But I think you get an alternate double side face and some good back torso print. And also with this hair piece, you can put some Lego friend accessories on too if you want to. Next to which is exclusive variant of Dumbledore, uh, with an odd lavender print or, or piece to it. But although this piece, I think they could have used for Hermione, but at least that one does work too. And so also of course, of course, does have this usual beard and also this exclusive hair hat combo piece. There's his double side face and back torso print, and also back, uh, back kilt piece, of course. Oh, whoops. Let me get the hat off the watch. Oh, whoops. And there's a good view of his front torso print and also face print, other face print, of course. So this version of which is quite good. And next 
which is a yet another variant of Lure Delacour, and but this time it's in her uh, somewhat grayish dress, also suiting to this scene. But besides that, but not at all any prints for her dress piece, and also some good back torso print, and also same face print as in the like back bull backs in carriage, and she also tries to wear her challenge and. But at least the blonde hair piece is exclusive to this set, of course. And next to which is Victor Crumb. Oh, with, also with exclusive torso prints and not only like prints, but face piece, but the face prints and hair piece, same as from the Tri Wizard Challenge set, and also some good uh, torso back torso print and good double side face, of course. And last but not least is Madame Maxim. Well, the hairpiece and uh, face prints of which about the same as from the uh, Bovaxin carriage set. But the uh, front torso print, back prints, and the other prints all good and perfectly well suited to her, of course. First of which for the builds is you get two of these little icicle tables, which kind of simple builds, like one of which has plenty of cylinders and the Naxo Knights uh, mini pyramid pieces, but in clear. <sighs> and we're using plenty of the Mixel teeth and unicorn horns for icicle effect. And Quite simple designs, of course, and kind of the same, but with two gallus pieces, of course. But also, you get is of what you can add for your Christmas displays and whatnot. Is this mini Christmas tree like thing built? Oh, it's quite good to most other Christmas trees that we've gotten in Lego, like have plenty of uh, cheap slope. Acting as snow and also playing the like green corner pieces and also different that is good use of this uh, star piece. So it's well suiting to most Christmas trees and at least the bottom uh, trunk part also good, which does work well for this. And now last of which is the clock tower itself. Oh. Also, I forgot to mention in the meat pick selection, which is Cedric Diggory, also present in the Tri Wizard Challenge set. Also, just like Harry in this one, using the mid legs, of course, but the face print and, and hair piece, of which same as from those other sets, and also the Blind Bag Minifig series variant. And back torso print, quite identical to Harry's. And also get the double side face, of course. So, for the clock tower, is as for this front area, which has use of those like uh, cylinder pieces and some tiles above, and also a leaf full each piece, of course, and so those uh, window pieces from the earlier castle set, and also good use of these like other brick pieces that have a stud above to attach different things to it, and. and also get plenty of jagged slopes in this, suiting to most of the building techniques that if farther above is some various stuff like we've seen with the other Hogwarts corridor sets. And also get the little clock, of course. 
It is made of a couple of tools. We'll only get a full set of tools in this set, of course. But we're not. But you can use just two of it in this one. And it's the regular uh, dish piece with printing inside of it. Quite nice. And also Captain America's shield piece, but to, with a different print as a different clock of which. And also farther above. Here, of course, you get some more of the jagged slopes and the brick bricks, and also some good snot technique in there. Which, if you like, get this and build it up, you would know how that is. And also, quite nice use of these like of those panel plates and these other things for a good roof effect to it. And also that canopy piece, com also common in the other. Hogwarts corridor sets, of course. And if you look from the side, uh, some more of the brick bricks and various things. And also a couple more Technic pinholes, where the, which, all of which were the upcoming uh, Astronomy Tower set will, or Astronomy Tower set actually, would probably connect to. And if you look to the other side, which is quite the same, but also this other section that's kind of similar to the Wampin' Willow one, and, but except has the like uh, curved uh, panel pieces rather than the like uh, jagged kind of panel pieces. Also, some more foliage and cheese slopes, and also this other section that also has a single one of those windows and a couple of well, pins exposed, but uh, which to connect to the Whomping Willow set. And if we look to the back, oh, as you can see, there's a little treasure chest and a little water fountain made of a gauntlet and or gauntlet actually. Yeah. And also of what's probably a little office or court corner or whatever as it has the little moody uh, chalkboard there and also a desk with or table with a lamp and also a desk that has a quill pen added to it and of course a little shelf with various potions and things and also good use of the diamond piece in purple nice to have for mocking into the upper part, which is probably the infirmary used in most of the films, which have a couple of those newer jumper pieces and, and enough space to fit a mini thing onto it, like they are healing on. But also, I see there's a couple of the sky blue uh, panel pieces, or I mean plates that have connections, which acting as drapes, of course. And if you get this couple crank like thing where you, where you can turn and it turns the clock hands in the front. As I turn that, this is what happens. Oh, which. Well, you, but you can pulse them however you want to which time it is. And onto this section of which, which is probably Dumbledore's office, I think. Which has the sword of Gryffindor above, and also this little desk that with another quill pen. And also, get, to get this little thing there, and... A couple of these which have stickered, uh, stickered books on them, and also a sticker picture there, of course. Also, same with on here. And also a chair made with a Nexonite's shield, of course. 
and also these back walls, also stickers. But at least they have a couple mentions of them. Mentions of, like, the Sorting Hat and also Fox the Phoenix, which I think they should have made as an actual piece and included it here, of course. But, oh, but anyways, underneath it, do get this little uh, bath pool or something with a couple of the taps representing as faucets and the lightsaber rods as running water, of course. And, and of course, one cool thing is the like stained glass uh, mermaid window, uh, which well suiting to the scene. Which can, can also see it on both sides, of course. And of course, so one of the main parts of it is the uh, ballroom part, which has the same kind of uh, icicle effect as the mini tables, which you can add on to the sides of it for some extra scenery. You get that little bling there. Oh, also what I forgot to mention is, in one of the offices is this little book which you can open up and have that little tile that was also used in the Wobbing Willow set. And as, and wonder what, and yes, has those like newer gear pieces that we've seen in a few other various sets. And, and what you can do with it is put a couple of figures onto it, and then grab on any part of it and let it crank around, like they're doing some various tango dance. Was, Although what's quite upsetting is that uh, Hagrid's not included in this, since of course dances with Maxim in this in this scene, of course. Although you can get Hagrid in other sets and add it here, of course. But yeah. Also, which is that those sections are also quite modular, which you can also rearrange and whatnot with the other uh, sets, of course, like the Walking Willow and all. Is there a way to get everything on? for the final verdict on this set, of which a pretty good set as with and of course has which well suits the Yulerim ball, which, of which is a big part in Goblet of Fire, of course, one even though we don't get very many sets of that, of course. But also to get exclusive prints of mini figs. So which and also some good uh, scenery bits like the Christmas tree and whatnot. And of course, which kind of evens out some of the rest of the the other Hogwarts corridor sets, at least until the astronomy tower comes around later, and add to the other side maybe who knows. But also, do you get a, a good little build or little mechanism for the hands of the clock, of course. And if you're looking to get this set for your Hogwarts Corridor collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you're looking to continue your Gauntlet of Fire collection, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.